you, madam, are the most atrocious looking fairy I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> Oh my god, you, you are not a pretty fairy at all. Michiko, hello madam, you do not look very fairy-like. And I've just noticed all of the fairies have lower leg hair, but only lower leg hair, and I don't know why. <laughs> Ask about becoming a fairy, that is what Shanice wants to do. Although she doesn't look too impressed. <laughs> She's like, what? I'm not being killed off in a let's play for once? Something suspicious. If you look around the forest, you might be able to find a sprite talking to it and you might find yourself on its good side. And if you're worthy, it may allow you to become a fairy. And there's a new fairy interaction where you can do different things. Although I'm building up friendship levels with fairies and they're not really doing anything about it. I just want Shanice to be a fairy. Is that too much to ask? Oh, me being an idiot, you're supposed to click on the ground and search for sprites and not speak to the Sims. <laughs> Well, that was my mistake. Well, that's 15 minutes of B-roll footage gone down the drain. <laughs> oh, sprightly success. Oh my God, it looks like the fairy in Zelda. Hello, sir, madam, or they. Let's have a nice little chat. Shanice has made a good enough impression. So that means that we can make a wish. Ask, oh, we can ask for lots of different things. Wish, oh, wish for a child, ask, okay. Before we ask to become a fairy, I am gonna ask for wealth because Shanice is capitalistic. Look at her beg. Oh my God, she's literally about to get on her knees. Have we got money? Oh my God, we got 5,000 simoleons. Oh my God. Well, that was fun. Although now I've ruined it because I can't search for another sprite anymore. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. All these fairies keep like growing the plants with their fairy abilities, which is quite cool. I feel like we've done the wrong thing and we need to leave and come back because the sprites don't want us anymore because we chose greed. I'm sorry, that was my fault. I admit it. I do admit that. That was my fault. Anyway, whilst we're waiting for the next day to turn Shanice into the fairy, we can actually turn Chantal Chantal into a proper witch. I know most of you care more about the fairies than the witches. I am switched on, so we're going to focus more on that. But it will be funny to see Chantal 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 turned into a witch. Chantal is like, oh my god, what are you making me do now? A spiritual guide from the other side has been called to advise Chantal and give her an insight. Oh my god. Hello, madam. What's your name? Isabella O'Brien. Hello, Isabella. There's a new witch category as well. Ask about witchcraft. So it gives you a bit of story and lore about how they're different from fairies and the magic realm. By the way, this mod pack does require realm of magic to work. I forgot to say earlier. I apologize. Now this bitch is haunting the shower. Ask to become a witch. That's what I really want to do. Oh, she wants us to do a favor first. She wants me to capture a spirit in the Sylvan Glade. <laughs> Wow, isn't that lovely? Right, Shanice, let's join a group. We're going back to Sylvan Glade. Oh, she's found one. Absolutely lovely. Should we have a chat first? Laura in. Pretend that we're going to be really, really nice with this spirit and then just completely mess it over. She snatched it away. Oh my God, it's actually in her inventory. <laughs> okay, trade sprite for witch powers. That was so evil of you. Oh my God, look at, oh my God. <laughs> Look at Chantel, oh my god! <laughs> she a witch now. Absolutely love that for you. She's now a practitioner witch. They have different levels, by the way. So you know in the main Sims 4 cults, they have like different levels. So they also have that with this one. I mean, you already have the nose of a witch. Now you officially have the powers. Is that Agnes Crumplebottom I see there? Agnes, I'm going to kill you with my witch powers. I don't think we can kill her with the witch powers, but I'm sure we can do something. Oh my god, what's just happened? So I was supposed to do something called Cairo cast in order to freeze Agnes Crumplebottom but she disappeared and the game glitched so now I accidentally froze myself so that happened <laughs> That's what I get from trying to cheat the spouse. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't be bothered to learn all the spouse. So I just like went into the debug menu and cheated them all. And now I really regret it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I do apologize, Chantal. That was your day ruined. <laughs> She's currently drawing her power source from the air, whatever that means. Shanice is now teleporting to Sylvan Glade via this statue, which is cool. We basically broke it and we can't look for sprites anymore because we used them for money. Like, I admit that was my bad. That must be something. Something I can do. Basically, I think Shanice, Shanice screwed it up. So I am sorry, Shanice, but like, I'm gonna kill you off because you can't actually turn into a fairy anymore. I know, I know, Chantal, you are devastated. I know you'll get over it. Shanice, I did say. <laughs> Shanice, I said for once you won't be killed off in a let's play and what do we know in the first couple of minutes I've killed you off. 
Anyway, brand new Shanice, you will actually become a fairy this time. All right, short story shorter, Shanice Shanice, well, the new Shanice is now becoming a fairy. Thank God that took a bloody while to do. And she is now a pixie level fairy. Oh my God, she's flying. But I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to give her wings. So she doesn't look like a fairy. I probably need to get that done. I like how she's got like a fairy plum bob as well. It literally looks like a unique plum bob design. That is so cool. Oh, they've literally got loads of different wings. That's quite cool. Oh, LGBT slay. <laughs> Absolutely love that. All right, Shanice Shanice is an LGBT slay icon. I love how she floats everywhere as well, although the wings are missing. I'm not sure what's going on there. So it seems she's got her fairy form and fairy magic skill and fairy flight skill. Chantal, on the other hand, by the way, has a witch rank skill and witchcraft skill. So they are slightly different. I ruined it by putting wings on it, Cass. It said fairies do not simply grow rings. They must first develop their abilities over time. I'm so sorry, Shanice Shanice. Let me just take those fake wings off so you can actually grow your rings naturally. <laughs> you can draw power from like different sources. I assume that means you can do different things. She also has like a special fairy experience meter too. And now it's in her source of magic. That is cool. I've just realized as well, we can fly to different places. I want to fly over to this little garden here. I feel like she'll just like magically teleport over there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, she fell. <laughs> Got a Janice. Literally love all the animations with this. Looks so cool. I love how this guy behind is eating a hamburger just watching along like nothing crazy is happening. There's also like a fairy handbook as well, which shows like different kinds of progress in fairy forms. And it kind of works a little bit like the Realm of Magic one, which is really cool. And it also shows you all of the different abilities that you can learn as well in the different forms. And she can also learn spells, which is quite cool, as well as just having like dormant magical abilities, which are quite like. And from the fairy spell book that we got earlier from the Build By Men, you can study fairy magic and you can also learn spells but I feel like our level is not high enough to learn the spells yet. I love how she's not even holding it as well it's just like floating in her hand. Now she can learn attitude aura and cleanse. What does that mean? Oh you can give yourself a different kind of aura. Should we do aura of inspiration? Oh and now she's inspired that's pretty cool. And then the cleanse spell means that she can just like magically clean things which is pretty OP and useful if you ask me. So after learning all of the spells through hard grind and definitely not cheating myself to learn them all. We now have quite a lot. I don't know what they all do. She's really getting into it, whatever she's doing. What did you do, Shanice? I don't know what you just did. I don't know. I've probably done something really severe and I don't know what I did. <laughs> We torture Chantal Chantal with some spells. Impotentia curse. That sounds like something Chantal Chantal deserves. Little does she know her sister Shanice Shanice is about to torture her. So basically the curse has inhibited her magic. So after Shanice doing that to Chantal, Chantal now can't use her magic properly, which is quite cool. How else can we torture her? <laughs> I am a psychopath. What is Ivy Rap? What is going on now? Oh my god, what is, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I think that inhibited her magic again. Whoopsie daisy. Medusa's gaze. I thought fairies were supposed to be the good ones and she's doing all of the torturing. <laughs> She's doing something to Chantal Chantal. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's actually turned to stone. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Like I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. She's literally turned to stone. Oh my god. She's stoned. <laughs> she's literally. Oh my god. It literally says stoned. Oh my god. YouTube don't demonetize this video. I mean stoned isn't literally turned into stone. Nothing else. Oh my god. This is so funny. Conjure a doppelganger versus a permanent doppelganger. Which is conjure a temporary doppelganger to begin with. That sounds a lot more. Tame. Oh my, excuse me, Savannah Shanice. <laughs> oh my god, she's okay. She's not like a proper copy. It's like you know, in Vampire Diaries, there's Catherine, but she's like slightly different. So if Shanice was ginger and she had bangs and she was called Savannah, oh my god, it actually looks a bit like Shanice though. Oh my god, that is literally the most hilarious thing in the world. And she's a fairy as well. Oh my god, that is. Oh my god, we can initiate a magic battle with her. Let's do that. Let's battle our doppelganger. See who is the best Shanice. Which Shanice is best? Savannah Shanice or Shanice Shanice. Shanice is like, are you ready? Okay, they're literally doing all this magic. Oh my God, she's literally like powering her with magic. Oh my God, Savannah is very feisty and I feel like she may accidentally beat Shanice, I'm not gonna lie. Although Shanice is like the original, so she must win, she has to win. Although I'm not so sure. Did we win? Oh my God, we won. We beat Savannah's ass, gutted Savannah. You are an absolute cow. Although I would like to talk to you too. Savannah oh my God, we can conjure a doppelganger off Savannah. Shanice's doppelganger can have a doppelganger. This is like inception of doppelgangers. Oh my god, Savannah's now got a doppelganger called Naomi Shanice. <laughs> 
I like how it's slow. Oh my god, can we conjure a doppelganger out of Naomi? How many doppelgangers can we do? Oh my god, we literally can. How deep does the rabbit hole go? That is what I want to know. Oh my god, we've got- Oh my god, we've got Courtney Shanice and she looks exactly the same as Savannah Shanice. <laughs> what is going on? There's too many Shanices around. We're gonna- Oh my god, we're gonna have to kill them all off, aren't we? It's getting too much. We're gonna ensorcel Naomi. What does that mean? I do not know. She's now been stripped of her free will and she's under Shanice's control. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to kill her. Snap out of it. Gosh, there's so much and I didn't even bother to read them all. I should have read them all. I am sorry. All right, apparently there's one called Morbus, which makes a million. If we do it multiple times, they're gonna die. Oh, she's coughing up something. Oh, there we go. Is she dead? Is Naomi dead? Something's happened to her. Who's this one? Courtney Schneese. Incendia. Does that set you on fire? That sounds like fun. Oh my god, she's literally on fire. Gutted Courtney Schneese. You deserve it because you're a bitch. And now Chantal Chantal is gonna freeze you as a witch because she also hates you and you're getting best of both worlds. Fire and ice. Oh, Naomi's still coughing up stuff. Oh, and she's fainting again. Oh dear, she's not doing too well. <laughs> There are some nicer things we can do as a fairy other than torture people. For example, we can throw a fairy house party. I feel like that's a lot more fun. And now we've got all these sprites in here. Oh, I love how she's doing that. Literally, are you having the time of your life in there? Oh my god, we can randomise music, dance, listen to certain music. That is actually really cool. We can sleep and shower in there as well. And it seems like the more you fly around as a fairy, she gets really clumsy and she falls over, but it gradually raises her flight skill, which I believe makes her less likely likely to stumble as she didn't stumble then which is quite good. I just made her do a spell called keratin conversion and now she's got mullet hair so I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> She doesn't seem too pleased with the haircut change. I've noticed fairies can also do spells on plants. Herba incrementum. I'm not sure what that means, but we're doing it. Does that like change the plant's quality? I think it has, it looks different. Incendia, oh my God, does that set the plant on fire? Oh my God, Shanice, you are literally the worst fairy in the world. <laughs> you are such a bitch, Shanice, honestly. Yeah, Herba incrementum seems to just raise the flower's state to make it a lot bigger. So this is pretty OP if you like gardening the game. But I believe the most fun thing is torturing Chantal Chantal with her fairy abilities. We could also use Chantal as a witch to torture Shanice, but it's more fun to make Shanice, the innocent fairy, torture Chantal. And by the way, me being really stupid, in order to make the automatic wings work, you do actually just need to have the one selected in cast. So I got confused and I said the cast ones were aesthetic and to get real wings you have to raise your powers, but I was wrong. I just read the guide. There was just a bit of misinformation on there. So it looks like you do have to apply them in cast. Yes. So I probably did ruin the immersion by not having them on in the first place. There are a lot of different facets to this mod. I would say it's not like a standalone experience enough, but it works well with Realm of Magic, which is why I'm glad that they've included it with Realm of Magic, because Realm of Magic contains like good wizards, but it's a nice ability to have like an evil witch with the pack and also to have fairies as well. I feel like this is what a proper full-on occult supernatural pack should be like the Sims 3 supernatural pack and it means that when you go to Sylvian Glade through this tree you can do more there other than just gardening. So yeah I'm very much impressed with this one. I'll leave a link in the bio if I remember. If I don't please remind me and I'll do it. I often review many different Sims 4 mods. I've reviewed this one here too. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.